Hi there, Mr. Thompson here with a video math lesson. This is our first video in a series looking at the index laws or uh, exponent laws. Okay, um, so in order to look at these laws, we're just going to start with kind of a little scenario. All right, so let's imagine we've got a squared times a cubed. All right, a to the second, right, times a to the third. Now, what this really is, right, if we have a squared, well, that's a times a, right? And if we have a cubed, um, then, and we're multiplying by a cubed, so we're multiplying by a times a times a, right? Well, we had our two a's from a squared, right? And we had our three a's from a cubed. We have a total of five a's multiplying by, uh, multiplying by each other, right? So really, we could rewrite that as a single um, number in index form, a single index with a as the base, right? And there's five of them, right? Which brings us to index law number one, okay? Whenever we have uh, a base and to a power multiplying by the same base, which is really important, right? These have to be the same base. <clears throat> Uh, to another power, or really, actually, m and n could be the same, but um, they can be different as well. Um, that's going to be equal to that base to a single number. Um, and how do we get it? Well, how did we get this 5? We got the 5 because we had a total of 5, 2, and then 3. We added the 2 and the 3, so in order to get the number that goes here, we're going to need to add the m and the n. So it's m plus n, right? whatever number that would be. Um, in, in the problems you'll be doing, m and n uh, just represent numbers. They'll be numbers, right? And um, so you just add them together and you get a single number there, okay? Let's look at one more scenario, okay? Uh, what if we had a to the fifth divided by a cubed, right? a to the third. Okay, well, what we've really got there is a times a times a times a times a, right? Five a's multiplying together, um, divided by three a's multiplying, right, a times a times a. Well, when you have a fraction like this, or a division problem, and you have the same thing on the top as you do on the bottom, we know we can cancel them. So this a cancels out with that a, right? And then here's two more a's that can cancel out, and then two more, right? <clears throat> now we've canceled out as many as we can. There's no more left on the bottom. All we have left is these two on the top. So this turns out to be equal to a to the second, right? a squared, a to the power of two. Which brings us to index law number two. When you have a base raised to a power, could be any power, um, divided by the same base, again, very important that this is the same base as that one, to some other power, or again, it could be the same. We can rewrite that as a single base um, to a single power, and the way we get that power is by subtracting, right? Five minus three, in this case, was two. And of course, however many you have on the top and the bottom, these ones on the bottom kind of subtract those ones from the top, right? They cancel each one out. So it's gonna be to the m minus n, all right? Let's look at some examples of how this works. Okay. We're going to simplify and put our answer in index form. Okay, So the first problem is 7 squared times 7 to the 6th, and then 8 to the 4th divided by 8 squared. We want to put these in index form. Of course, you can just plug these into a calculator, but we want to understand what's going on here. So um, for this first one, the base is going to be 7, right? Because that's what the base is here. It's the same base. And then we're going to have the exponents are 2 and 6. So 2 plus 6 is, uh, of course, 8. All right? So that's that one in index form. Um, and you can plug this into your calculator, just like you could have plugged these in. But this is fewer buttons, which is just one of the many benefits of, of sort of knowing these index laws. Um, it's fewer buttons to plug this into your calculator. And the fewer buttons you have to type into your calculator, the better, because it's less likely you'll make a mistake. Okay, okay. so let's look at this one. 8 to the 4th divided by 8 squared. So we're going to use index law number 2. 
our base is going to be 8, and this time we're dividing, so we have to subtract these powers, right, these indices. So 4 minus 2, and of course 4 minus 2 is uh, 2, and 8 squared, of course, is 64. If you, if you want to have the answer, which there you go, you could do that, that last one in your head. More examples, all right, simplify using uh, index laws 1 or 2. All right, so here's the first one we're going to use index law 1, and then this next one we'll use index law 2. These ones are a little more complex, a little more colorful here. So when we multiply this stuff here by this stuff here, we have to multiply the things that are, that are like terms. So the numbers multiply by the numbers, and the pronumerals multiply by the like pronumerals. So x's times x's and y's times y's, right? And we can combine those into single, um, single uh, numbers or letters and so forth. So first we have the 3 and the 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then we have x squared and x to the 4th. So we're going to have a base of x and an exponent of 2 plus 4, which is 6. And then we have our y's. So our y base of y. And um, 3 plus 7 is 10. So there's that first one. Done. Right? There's no more like terms to combine, so that one's good to go. All right, here, the first thing we need to do is we can reduce the um, numbers. Just like we multiplied the numbers here, we're going to reduce these numbers. So what divides evenly into both 4 and 6? 2, right? So we'll divide each of those by 2. So uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we get 2 over 3. And now we have the x's, right? And this is x to the 10th over x to the 6th. And so we're going to use index law number 2, and we'll subtract. So 10 minus 6 is 4, so we get x to the 4th. And then we have our y's, y to the 7th over y to the, to the 2nd, y squared. So 7 minus 2 is 5, right? y to the 5th, okay? And you can kind of rewrite it to make it look a little nicer. And there you have it. That's that one. Okay, one more set of examples here. And you'll, hopefully you're seeing the pattern, you're seeing the, the, um, how you kind of do the same thing every time here. This time we'll actually combine and use index laws 1 and 2. And as you learn more index laws, you'll see that you can combine all of them as you go. Okay, the first example here of these two is just, a, we'll just do index law 1 followed by index law 2. Okay, so we have x squared times x cubed. We'll do that first. So index law 1 says we'll just add those exponents, so we get x to the 5th. And then I'll just write this in here, right? We'll just keep the x to the 4th divided by x to the 4th. And then we'll do this problem, x to the 5th divided by x to the 4th. And so index law 2 says we subtract, so we get x to the 1. Now x to the 1 is the same as just x. It's just x times itself one time. It's just x. That's it. So we can actually get rid of the 1, um, and uh, it's the same thing. So, and that's an actually simpler way to write it. So that's the answer. Okay. This one, very colorful. <laughs> Lots going on here. You'll see we've got a fraction, so we're dividing, but there's a multiplication going on in the top. Um, so we've got an index law 1 problem up here on the top, and then, well, if we need to, which, of course, we will. We can do index law 2 as well. You can actually do them in either order in this case, but we'll do one first. So the first thing is 3 times 5. So we get 15, the 3 and the 5 combined. Then we have x to the 4th and just x, which we know from before that x is the same as x to the 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5, so x to the 5th. Then we have y squared and y cubed, so it's also to the 5th, y to the 5th. I'm just going to write everything in from the bottom, just bring everything from here down, because we, we just didn't do anything with that yet. Okay, and f then we'll um, focus on this problem. It's now an index law 2 problem. So 15 divided by 10, right, we can simplify that, divide all sides, uh, both numbers by 3, uh, sorry, by 5, and we get 3 over 2, right? And then <clears throat> x to the 5th divided by x cubed, we're going to do 5 minus 3, so we get x squared, and then y to the fifth over y to the fourth, 5 minus 4 is 1, so we just get y, and that's the answer. Of course, we don't need that one, and we'll make it look nice, and that's our answer. 
So there you go, index laws one and two with examples. Good luck and see you later for index laws three and so forth.